really gotten to the point where this traffic light's overdue. Changes could be on the way for a dangerous intersection here in Nashville. We're talking about Gallatin Pike and Stratford Avenue on the east side of town. News 4's Cameron Taylor is live there right now. Cameron, a man died trying to cross the street. He did, Tom and Tracy. He was one of 32 people killed while walking last year across the city. The most ever for Nashville. And a Metro Councilwoman says it has to stop. That's why she wants to put a stoplight right at this intersection. Making a left turn onto Stratford Avenue from Gallatin Pike can be scary. The intersection doesn't get much easier coming from other directions either. When I use Stratford, I don't turn left. I always go right and come back if I have to. Making a left turn onto a major five lane road I don't think is a real good idea. Kerry Rogers has lived in the Inglewood neighborhood of East Nashville for 30 years. He calls this one of the busiest areas without a stoplight. There's a long stretch before you see one on Gallatin Pike. Quite frankly, I don't cross the street there. Uh, I think most people just avoid it. Metro Councilwoman Emily Benedict is trying to change that. Here's why. In the last six months, a man died trying to cross the street, and another person was seriously hurt a few months later. When I think about who those people are, they're brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers and sons and daughters. These are people who are missing now because it's not safe to walk on our streets. Putting a stoplight here will cost thousands of dollars. Benedict believes it's worth the price if it means safer roads. I mean, how much are these lives worth? A lot more than this. And neighbors like Rogers say there's no perfect solution to all of this, but he's open to the idea. And Metro Public Works told us tonight that they're recommending that the Parking and Traffic Commission say yes to the stoplight. We'll, of course, let you know what they decide next month.